Okay, in this video, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about something called the distance formula. And you use the distance formula when you have like a grid of some kind, x, y axis, and you want to find the distance between two points that are not like on a straight line, okay? So for example, what's the distance between this point here, which is 1, negative 2, and this point here, which is 4, 4? And the distance formula is this. It is the square root let me just write all this out, of the difference between the two x's, so let's just go x1 minus x2, the difference, quantity squared, plus the difference between the two y's, so let's just say y1 minus y2, quantity squared, the square root of those two things added up, and that's equal to the distance. Okay, now let's go ahead and figure out what this particular distance is, and then I'm going to make a really cool connection for you guys. So let's look at my x's. Uh, we'll just make this one the x1 and the y1. Okay, so x sub 1 is 4 minus x sub 2, which is down here, which is 1, quantity squared. Let's put this all under the radical. That's my first step, that's my second step plus the difference between the two y's, so again it's y sub 1, which is 4, minus y sub 2, which is a negative 2. All right, And then that should be equal to that distance. Let's go ahead and work this out. I'm going to get the square root of 4 minus 1 is 3 squared, plus 4 minus a negative 2 makes that a positive, so that's going to be 6 quantity squared is equal to the distance for a step. That's going to be the square root of 9 plus 36. Again, that's equal to my distance. And that's going to be, last step, the square root of 45, because 9 plus uh, 36. And if... Um, your teacher might ask you to go ahead and simplify this, right? Either by estimating what the square root of 45 is or by writing it in a radical form. Okay, now let's see if we can remember how we did it in radical form. One of the techniques is you take out the perfect square factors in here. So I can rewrite 45 as the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. That's a perfect square, so you're going to get 3. Radical 5 would be that distance here, okay? And that's equal to the distance. The other way of doing this is you'd have to guesstimate what the square root of 5, or actually what the square root of 45 is. And I'll show you a really cool technique. Here's 45. And what I do is I ask myself, what are the two perfect squares on either side of 45? Well, I know that one perfect square is the square root of 36, right? And that would just be 6. I know the other perfect square is the square root of 49, right? And that's just 7. So 45, the square root of 45, is between the square root of 36 and the square root of 49, which means that it would be somewhere between 6 and 7. And I'll show you how I show my students to guesstimate that. Um, I say basically the distance between 36 and 49 is 13. The distance between 36 and 45 is 9, so the square root of 49 is basically 6 and 9 thirteenths. Okay, and that would be like an approximate answer, and if you go ahead and use your calculators, you see that's, that's about right. And if you can reduce 9 thirteenths, that's fine in your own head. Now I want to show you something else with this distance formula, okay? Let me just go ahead and recreate this exact same problem once again. So we had x and y axis. We had 1, negative 2. So there is that one point. 1, negative 2. We also had 4 and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there is 4, 4 and we're trying to get that distance, okay? 
So let's go ahead and look at that. So what if I forgot the distance formula? What if you just couldn't remember it? Well, I want to show you something. You can actually make this a right triangle. And if you can make it a right triangle, remember you can use the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. In other words, this side squared plus this side squared, oops, shouldn't have put the square there, that side plus that side, right, would be equal to that side squared, which is really the hypotenuse, okay? So let's go ahead and how would I, but you're asking yourself, well, wait a minute, I don't know what this distance is, but you really do, don't you? A is really just the distance between x here and this x here. So it's just 4 minus 1. And if I square that, I'll go ahead and do that. And then it's the, hold on, that didn't look too good. And then I would add the, the b, right, which is just the difference between, what, 4 and negative 2. 4 minus negative 2. And then I squared that. And that should be equal to c squared. This should be starting to look familiar to you, right? If I wanted to solve for just the distance c, I'll take the square root of both sides and look what you get. 4 minus 1 squared plus 4 minus negative 2 squared. Oh, put that up there, squared. And there is the exact same thing as your distance formula. So what does that tell you? The Pythagorean theorem and the distance formula are basically just the exact same formula, just in a little bit of disguise. Okay, I hope that was helpful.